My name is Dr. Thomas Lee. I'm a pediatric retina surgeon and director of the Vision Center at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Approximately 80% of childhood blindness is completely preventable if you detect it early enough in the stage of the disease. Something as simple as a flash from your digital camera can really help a parent identify disease that could blind your child at a very early stage. He didn't seem like he was in any pain, right. no discomfort, so the only indication was the glow. And he'd even just been at the pediatrician where he'd passed that paddle eye test where he must have been moving the paddle just enough to let his other eye take the test. We started noticing that Jake's left eye was looking funny and I would, I would get a glimpse of that glow even when he was younger. It started about four months old. I had no idea that this would, rep this would mean anything other than just something that was going wrong with my camera. We see the glow like you see in this picture is actually the light reflecting off of the tumor that she had in her eye. Come to find out it was retinoblastoma. Within two weeks he had his eye inucleated. We didn't see the effect in the photos until after he had been diagnosed. I just remember just like going, you know, being blown away by it because who thinks your baby's going to have cancer? And even talking to some of my friends who are trying to research it, nobody knew what we were talking about. Trust your instinct. Keep going back to the doctor. My intuition knew there was something there that needed to be checked out. I just didn't know how dangerous it really could be. Early detection is key with retinoblastoma. It is something serious. It is something life-threatening. And even if it does not take someone's life, it definitely can change someone's life by taking their eyesight. If we can teach parents how to recognize abnormalities through something as simple as a flash photograph, I'm sure that we can prevent unnecessary blindness and even save lives. She has a prosthetic eye and we are so thankful that she's here. May 2nd is his anniversary for being cancer free for 10 years.